Hello and welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Modoni Mushiri. A class 8 pupil is admitted at Muriranja's district hospital with wounds he sustained after he was allegedly caned by his teacher in Kaururo, Muranga County. The 14-year-old boy is a pu pupil at Githagara Mixed Primary School and according to his parents, he was caned by one of the teachers after the boy and six others were spotted picking fruits in a nearby shamba. Niko na uchugu mwigi sana kwa sababu ya huyo mwalimu kuchapa watoto bila kuachapa vibaya sana 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 last year alikuwa alichapa mtoto wangu na nikaenda huko kwa shule na tukaogea na mwalimu hiyo kesi ikaisa lakini jana alimchapa hata akamwambia hata uende huko na kuchapa uende huko kwa polisi kule ulikuwa una edaga his upper back was swollen had a swelling and you could clearly see the the marks uh, from the cane there was also associated complaints of chest of uh, cough and sneezing in the morning which is which concurs with uh, symptoms suggestive of upper respiratory tract infection. It is not just punishment, that is brutality, which is inhuman, and I think the teacher might have been stressed by something else, not just what the children did. I would call upon the Ministry of Education, TSE, they already have their own rules, they know how to handle the issues, that they should come up quickly to the investigation and take necessary steps. In a world where everyone is obsessed with making more money in order to lead a comfortable life, families who are struggling to make ends meet. And one such family is that of Omboy Musimi, and they're all blind, and putting a meal on the table is a Herculean task. Sharon Baranga with, with their story. 40-year-old Wamboa Musimi religiously comes to this port along Kenyatta Highway opposite Thika Police Station. He was born blind and he depends on begging of arms to feed his family. He says blindness runs in the family and it started with his grandmother. He is a trained telephone operator but he has never worked as one. Sijafanikiwa kupata kazi nimefanya application za pande na pande hata kuingia nikaongea na wale kulikuwa nilikuwa nafanyia attachment lakini sikufanikiwa. Usama tu ni consider baada ya kupata nafasi lakini na ngoja lakini bado sijafanikiwa. Nilianza kusomea IRC kule Kenyatta Industrial Rehabilitation Center na huko ndiyo alafu nikaanza arrangement kule Kemri nikaenda KSB na kuna center iko hapo tu ndani KMTC huko tu nilifanyia arrangement peke yake. After spending his day on the streets of Thika, Wambua heads home to his family. Of Art and Development, his wife, Anne Wanjiru, and their four-year-old daughter are also blind. They are all dependent on Wambua. Wambua and Anne met in school in the year 2010. Anne was also born blind, and according to her, it is a condition that also runs in the family. Her two brothers are also blind. Tunakuwa na changamoto sana ya kuachwa na wasichana wa kazi, kwa sababu sangine msichana na kufanyia kazi, ikifika mwishu wa mwezi, hauna pesa za kumulipa. Sasa msichana na kasirika, ana kutoroka, unagundua kesho yake hata kuja kazi na hata kuambia. Anne is a trained tailor. Iliweza kuingia St. Irene, Meru. Nikajifunza kosi ya kushona na mashini ya soweta. Na nilipomaliza kwa bahati mbaya mwaka wetu watu wa wakupewa mashini za kushona. So wakati niliolewa alafu tukakuje huku maraba, kuna mama aliweza kunisaidia na mashini yake. Lakini kwa bahati mbaya tuligundua imeharibika. Sasa mitu anakaa hivyo kwa sababu hata kama niko na mashini haiwezi kushona imeharibika. The house the family lives in was constructed by well wishers. They live with a house girl who helps them out. A helicopter carrying Bomet Governor Isaac Ruto made an emergency landing in the southern bypass after the pilot avoided Wilson Airport due to pure, poor visibility caused by heavy rains. It landed on Sunday at around 6 p.m. on an open field by the highway. On board the Eurocopter AS350 was the governor, his bodyguard and the pilot. 
and the woman whose husband is charged with chopping off her arms will fly out to South Korea on Monday evening to be fitted with prosthetics. Jacqueline Wende will go abroad because the prosthetics needed are not available locally. She will be traveling with her sister. And finally, a man in Kisumu shocked the public after he forked out half a million shillings to organize a two-day feat to mark his son's third birthday. Photos of the extravagant occasion, which have been shared widely on Facebook, show the man who goes by the name of Dagi Owila in the company of the birthday boy, Ryan Owila, and his wife. They're all dressed in African attire. And that's it for us for now. For these and more stories, log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke. I'm Mudhoni Mushiri. Goodbye.